Um, so, climbing uh, is featuring for the first time in the Olympics um, this year and will feature three different disciplines of climbing, lead climbing, speed climbing and bouldering. Um, here at Warwick we've got all three of those disciplines available for people to try. Um, what does climbing give to people? Uh, an opportunity to trust, grow confidence, um, build courage, pit themselves against um, problems solving uh, and try to become good problem solvers. So it's physical, it's intellectual, it's emotional, it's social. And it's one of the truest sports in that uh, you're not competing against anyone other than yourself and the problem that's presented to you. Um, so the community that's around within climbing is always very supportive. It's always looking out for each other and trying to motivate each other to be successful. Um, because the consequence of not being successful is obvious. Um, with regard to the upcoming Olympics, um, the speed climbing that we've got here is, is one of the disciplines that you can take part in if you're a good athlete. Um, but we've got six other auto belays within the centre that people can come and train on their own with. So we've got a very all-round um, product here, to, so to speak, but it's more than that. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for people to grow themselves, which I'm, I hope you've experienced yourself while you've been here today, Ash, in that, um, that, whole, that whole putting yourself outside your comfort zone, we don't seem to allow people to do, um, as we discussed earlier mm -hmm. on. Um, we seem to um, wrap people in cotton wool to an extent, and climbing is, what, is a relatively safe way of pushing your own personal boundaries around those, around those things.